Solve the following inequalities and represent the solution set on an number line. So we've got x squared minus x minus 6 is less than or equal to 0. And then the same quadratic function x squared minus x minus 6 is greater than 0. There are several ways of doing this, but in this video I'm just going to show you the graphical method. Okay, so we've got x squared minus x minus 6 is less than or equal to 0. First, we solve the quadratic equation, x squared minus x minus 6 is equal to 0. This is quite an easy one to factorise. So we're just going to uh, uh, use brackets and not, not bother with products and factors. Um, so here we have to put an x, here we have to put an x. Factors of 6, maybe 2 and 3 will make 1 minus 1 in the middle. So this one would have to be negative, and this one would have to be positive. So... The critical values uh, from this are going to be x is equal to minus 2 or x is equal to 3. Now from this we are now going to sketch a quadratic graph. So if we draw the graph x and y, mark on x is equal to minus 2, x is equal to 3 as the roots. And we also know it goes through minus 6, so we'll put that on there and draw sort of that shape because the number in front of x squared is positive. So we draw our quadratic. Now we want to know, those are critical values, we want to know where it is negative. So the graph is negative in the bit that's orange, so it's negative between minus 2 and 3. We can include those points because it, it's less than or equal to. So on the number line, draw solid solid uh, dots and a line in between minus 2 and 3. And the answer is x is greater or equal to minus 2, or x is less than or equal to 3. Now for b, we're doing x squared minus x minus 6 is greater than 0. So using the same graph, so to use exactly the same graph, okay, and you'd have to do this bit first if, if you hadn't done it already. This time we want to know where it is positive, so it is going to be positive here and here. Again, this time though it's not solid dots, it's going to be open dots. So there's an open dot there, and an open dot going that way as well. So we're going that way and that way. Now, because they're not joined up, and doing it on the number line makes it very clear, that they're not joined up, they're separated, you have to write the answers like this x is less than minus 2, or x is greater than 3. Notice we do not join them up uh, because they are actually separate, that there's a gap between them. Okay, so that's just how you would actually write down the final answer. Okay, so this has been a video to show you how to find, solve an inequality where the function is a quadratic using a graph, graphical method. I hope you have understood and I thank you very much for watching.